It'd be great if it was floating or something. <laughs> now we have to shoot this antenna to... The echo. <laughs> the echo antenna. I don't know it said that. To, uh... Um, did... You didn't know what? I didn't know that it said enemy locked on when you're in echo visor. No, that's actually... It's got a... It's specific for this fight. It's the beam that the Quadraxis head shoots out that oh, does okay. that. And if you get that, hit by nice. it, it has a similar effect to um, the, the res, res bits. Which is never good. He's just trying to watch TV, man. <laughs> I just wanted shit in the a good world. time. Oh, there's his dark infomercials. <laughs> I want to buy this dark sweeper. Do you have double grappling Honda shit? <laughs> we'll buy our leopard skin walls. It's only fifty nine ninety nine. I could really use these in my house. I'm always you tripping over. You screw attack or your money back. <laughs> the ironic thing is that they're actually not scams. Whoa. That's a lot of damage. That was the design process for the Dark World. <laughs> How are we gonna they do just this? Just break it. A motion capped someone designing the Dark World. So, they so could get here, that. I think that out of all three phases of this fight, that this is the worst. Because oh. you have to stun him, and then, and you, then have you have gotta... to determine which way he's floating. Yeah. You gotta climb up the leg, and then hope out of the weird perspective that it has that you can boost onto the head get into the morph ball slot which was built into the robot for some reason oh they didn't expect someone would actually get both the boost ball and the spider ball <laughs> no these are both retarded and not useful at all in so some no times, one will have them. it didn't happen here but you can get stuck in the morph ball slot <laughs> while he's floating around and doing damage to you. <laughs> and I never had that happen to me. It's probably American thing. <laughs> yeah, just American. Alright, <laughs> the boss is defeated. There's nothing else to worry about. <laughs> we're gonna just. No, thank God. We're gonna just go up here and there won't be any problems. We're just gonna screw tack over to the platform and. Oh, jeez. It's all good. Don't worry. No. Uh, <laughs> no, ha, ha. You uh, just got screwed attacked. And this is what death looks like. <laughs> That was the point all along. Uh, <laughs> now to do it all over again. Actually, no, I just thought of a really good idea. Imagine if the Quadraxis boss fight was meant to be more of an endurance thing, and he couldn't sort of, like, destroy it conventionally. Just to keep fighting it constantly while the Dark World was actually the one that was, like, wearing you down. Like, and, like maybe after a certain and you destroy bits and pieces over time, but not like as a health bar sort of thing. Like a uh, chipping away at its armor sort of thing? Yeah, and it's like an endurance thing. You're meant to like, the Dark World uh, effect is meant to be the one that's actually killing you. You're meant to worry about that foremost. Well, it's still, I don't know, it's a weird idea, but it could be cool. Aside from four legs, what? How? that's <laughs> fucking retarded, man. Well. Who, who cares about spiders? No. Well, who cares about the Luminoth, the cricket things? 
Hey man, I like Lumina. <laughs> there should have been a gigantic robotic Lumina. That'd be <laughs> great. And now it becomes Dark Aegon Waste. <laughs> well, I've fucked things up for this world. Time to leave. I like how oh. catastrophic that makes everything. <laughs> well. But not. You know. it, but it doesn't make it awful in the same way that it makes Light Aether awful. Yeah, well, Light Aether <laughs> just looks like it's garbage like, already, is the it's thing. It's like there's. So. I mean, if you take a look at it, so, <laughs> Light Aether, what happens when it, it just like, oh, the atmosphere is shifting, and you can see, like, thunderstorms, and it sometimes gets dark, but <laughs> here, it's like, oh, the sky is gonna turn blood red, and also sandstorms. This is just so fuck. there isn't even sa any sand nearby, <laughs> come on, guys. How does this, this even do it? This isn't Dubai. Well, it could Samus, be Dubai. It's a do you dark feel like one. a hero yet? <laughs> Samus, do you feel dark yet? Dark Samus comes over it and is, and then it turns out to be all a dream. Oh. Oh. Well, that would be much better. <laughs> Samus wakes up on a ship. It's like that was the worst dream I've ever had. Let's go. <laughs> and then, oh, then she just leaves. Uh, turns that, out Dark Summers was just a phone call. Oh, like the phone ringing. But where'd the phone call come from? The dark world! <laughs> oh. The phone, the call is coming from inside the dark world. Summers, that phone call is not coming from this plane of dimension. Dun dun dun. Will you accept the charges? No. Nope. Yes. Then it then it comes up with echoes. So. Now I think this is the first time this has been shown, but <laughs> look at the fun little audio puzzle you can do. Certainly, uh, change for Metroid. <laughs> Metroid Prime bit... Two: uh, A Link to the Past. I think it's a bit weird that like. You gotta do some of them twice or three times. Maybe if, like, there were more of those sort of things and you shot in between them. Well, I didn't show it on this one, but you can shoot the middle part and it plays the tune that you're supposed to play. Oh, okay. So it, it's well, yeah, not just, like, random <laughs> shoot. You gotta things. figure them out slowly. Wait for the Dark World to finish you off. All right, so uh, we we've got the first and last energy controller. All right, speed up, <laughs> thank God. And then when you put the light into this world, sandstorms happen. Yeah. Right. The sky turns a blood red. This was the dark world all along. I left.
Oh, <laughs> energy replenish. Thanks. So, we oh. just fixed everything. Opry yeah. just told us to kill everything. Go do the thing. Okay. Oh man, I'm tired. That's what I did every day before uh, recording. Before the dog left. But instead of punching my arm into an energy controller, I just punched Metroid Prime 2. <laughs> I punched I punched into the USB slot of my PC. <laughs> Mega Man Ironically, EXE, it connect! My, ironically, it made my monitor dark. Aww. Which was the inspiration for Metroid Prime 2. <laughs> they were sitting around, you know, trying to figure out what to do, and then somebody's computer fell asleep, and they're like, yeah, that's Man, what I want. This fuck I can't fix the gamma on my monitor. It is dark, man. It's this like a world dark, is dark world. That is the best idea you've ever had. So you think they're going to add uh, the dark world to Dark Souls 2? I certainly hope so. <laughs> well, it is, it is pretty much the dark world. <laughs> Except done better. Okay, so now that we've connected all three energy controllers... The two... The Tomb of the Giants should have been purple instead of completely black. Come We're on, guys. really out. I couldn't see anything. You must kept killing me. You must is just like I can't believe she actually did it. Holy shit! <laughs> wow, was, there was nothing, and then there was everything. I was kidding about that whole Dark World shit. It was just, I don't know. I just needed a light in here. I couldn't read. 